right, for this tutorial, we're going to use the green screen and learn how to chroma key it out using Adobe Premiere. Let's check it out what it looks like in the program. Okay, so here we are in Premiere, and uh, we're going to chroma key this out in the exact same video that you watched to key this off. Um, in class, we're going to go over how to um, light up our green screen so it's a little bit easier once we get here. Um, if it's not properly lit, then we might run into a little bit more issues, but um, we're going to start with it right now. As you can see on my screen up here, on my green screen, I missed a couple of the, uh, the walls on the outside of the screen, which is totally okay. Um, where we're going to start off with side here in our um, media uh, window, if we go into effects, um, we're going to look for um, an effect called garbage matting. And uh, there's four point, eight point, or 16 point garbage matting for this uh, tutorial and for this video because it's a pretty easy thing to, to clean out um, we're gonna go with a four point and you'll see what's gonna happen when I drag this over um, onto the video that I want to use the garbage mat on it ends up in my effects controls right up here really what the garbage mat does and if I click on this point here it's gonna bring me up my four points here 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 and here. The eight point and six point will just do, or eight point and six point will give me 16 points or eight points on it. So if I wanted to get around something, it's how you can use it a little bit easier. Um, but we're able to cut out around the edges of the screen. So the most important thing is, is while I'm talking, that I don't move around that much. So as we scroll out here, as I move my bar around, you can see that it's, it's okay. The next thing we're going to do is also in our effects tool is to go into um, the search and we're going to type something called chroma key and essentially what this is actually I'm going to change that to ultra key they both would work ultra key and chroma key are both effects that are going to get the um, green screen out of the background it's going to remove our background essentially so what's going to do <coughs> sorry excuse me when I click on the ultra key it's going to give me a couple of more um, options here. So right now the key color is set for black. I'm going to grab this little eyedropper and I'm going to click on the green. And you can see because it's lit really well, it's going to get rid of most of the green. If I click on composite and go down to alpha, you'll see that anything white is still going to kind of come through if I go through my video a little bit more. So what I can go, I can go back to my effects and I can tweak with my um, effects here just to get as much black in there as I possibly can. There we go, that looks a little better. Tolerance. And it's just going to take a little bit of key you're playing to get around with. Now I can go back into my alpha channel, go back to composite, and as we go through my video, you can see that the video is basically all the background is gone. It looks black right now, but if I move that up in my video, oops, and I put my little picture in behind it. I could put pictures or videos in there. Now you can see that it is me in front of the gum wall. And if we click continue, hey. the video keeps going. So now that we have my video in there, we're going to hit file, save, save your project always, and we're going to export it. And again, we're going to come in here. We're going to export it this time to an H.264. Rename it. And then hit the export button. Not bad, right? 